Tonight on Market Call, David Burroughs, president of Barometer Capital Management. He's taking your calls and emails and tweets on North American large caps. Hello and welcome to Market Call tonight. I'm Mark Bunting. Thanks a lot for joining us on this uh, Monday edition. Here are the ways to reach us if you have a question for David Burroughs. Uh, the toll-free number, the email address, and uh, the Twitter handle is at Market Call. So take your pick and uh, you can uh, fire a question at David if he can, if he wants to, uh, if it's in his bailiwick, so to speak. Good to see you, sir. Great to be here. Now, BNN viewers know, uh, because you've been on many times, that you like to look for broad themes and what's working in the market. And you've got three ideas right now, uh, starting with uh, monetary policy and, and how that affects financial markets, equity markets primarily. Yeah, certainly, you know, I think for the last 18 months, we've gone through this sort of push-pull relationship between some bigger macro risks that people have had concerns about, uh, which has caused, you know, several bouts of weakness in the market. And, and counterbalanced against that, you've had some very aggressive, unconventional monetary policy that central bankers have been using to try and prop asset prices and bring some confidence to markets. And, you know, certainly over the last few months, uh, I would argue that some of the policy moves have done a pretty good job of taking some of the fear out uh, and making people a little bit more confident that at least we're not, you know, going over the edge of a, of a cliff at this point. Um, so I think that the longer that that can go on, slowly you see some healing taking place. Markets consolidate a couple of ways. One is they consolidate in time. One is they consolidate in price. And, and I think that we've seen certainly in Canada markets chop their way sideways over the last year or so. Um, so I think that there are some pockets of the market that are big beneficiaries of that monetary policy. I think there are some areas of the market that people hope will be beneficiaries of, of, of some improved uh, economic activity. And you just have to pick your spot on the risk curve as to how far out you want to go in making that bet. Having said that, you think that the dividend theme is still a, a going concern, a good place to be? We think that the, the most obvious long-term theme in this market is dividend growth. And there's going to be short periods of time where that theme maybe underperforms some of the higher beta sectors. Um, but with a lot less risk. So I think that that should really be the core of most portfolios. And then you pick your spots and some of the sort of core leadership themes that might be away from the yield theme. Another theme right now is cheap natural gas, and that helps the methanexes of the world and I guess other companies that have that input cost. Absolutely. I mean, you want to look for secular themes in the market. And one of the secular themes is that we have low natural gas pricing and likely to for some time because of all the gas that's being found. And while that's tough on the producers uh, and maybe on the service companies, it's a win for certain manufacturing businesses that have big input costs that are centered around the cost of energy. And we'll talk about a couple of those tonight. Right. You've got a top pick along those lines or, yeah, top pick. Uh, and lastly, uh, uh, you think emerging markets are looking interesting. Well, you know, it's interesting. When we were on the fall, we said there were certain things that caused us, you know, continued concern in the market. And one of them was that, that while we'd seen some improvement in a few Asian markets, China really hadn't come around. And really since then, we've seen Shanghai start to perform a lot better. Certainly Hong Kong had a good lift through the fall. Company countries like Thailand uh, and uh, Indonesia had good moves. So we're seeing some strength in emerging markets. We'll talk about another developed market that plays along with the developing market theme. And, uh, and I think that we're seeing some strength in those areas that give us, you know, a little bit more cause for optimism with the global consumer. You are talking North American large caps tonight, and you'll do that throughout the show, but David's top picks do have an international flavor, and we'll uh, get to those in about 50 minutes' time. Uh, right now, we'll uh, take a short break. We'll come back, and uh, David will start answering your questions on North American large caps.